Hello guys and welcome to the part 2 of the series Make a Multiplayer VR Game. In the last episode we show you how to set up your account and install the Normcore SDK in your project and also how to connect for the first time. In this episode we will learn how to interact with objects and deal with the ownership over them. Back to the editor we have the same setup of the last video and we added a nice table with three objects. Each object will have the XRGrab interactable and we will set the movement type differently in each one so we can test the behavior. To synchronize an object between clients, we need to add to this object a component called real-time view. On advanced settings we have two options. The first one is prevent ownership takeover. And to make a change on any network object, you need to own it. And with this option, as the name says, you can prevent other users from taking the object ownership. Now to synchronize the transform of the object, we need the component real-time transform. And here we have the option to synchronize the position, rotation or scale. If you don't need any of those, uncheck them and you're gonna save some bandwidth. And now we have smoothing, that if you leave it and interpolate, Normcore should smooth the transfer data that you receive from remote players. Then if this object has a re-body attached, you could get these two extra options. The first one being sleep. And if your object collides with another object with a read body and a real-time transform, it will try to request the ownership of the second object. So it can simulate locally the collision of both objects and avoid delays. For that, the option of sleep let you clear your ownership after the rigid body goes to sleep or let you keep it. And then we have velocity. If we select the right velocity from position, the position on remote clients is derived from the position updates. This setting saves bandwidth, however, is less accurate than sending the velocity. With that in mind, if you go to play mode and grab the object, Normcore will assume that you are trying to request the ownership and that it's going to succeed. But if you didn't request it or if it was rejected by the server, Normcore will roll back any state changes of the object automatically. Keep in mind that to succeed in the real-time transform request, you have to ensure that the real-time view is not owned already by another client. So let's create a new script called request ownership and jump into the code. So the first thing to do is remove this, we don't need it, and add the library of Normcore and XR Interaction Toolkit. So the idea is to attach this script to the grabable object, so we're gonna need a reference for the real-time view and real-time transform for the request ownership, and another reference for the XR Grab Interactable, so we can subscribe to the event Select Enter. So at the moment that we grab this object, we're going to automatically request the ownership. So now we create a method to request the ownership. We request the real-time view and the real-time transform. Then we can subscribe to the event select enter, so when we grab this object, we're gonna trigger the request ownership. We're gonna need some arguments. And don't forget to unsubscribe. And we clean the code. And that's it. Now we can go to test. Now back to the editor. We can put the script on our object and add the references. And now it's time to test. Now that we know that it's working, let's add the real-time transform and the request ownership script to the other two objects and test the behavior.
Starting from the left, we have the instantaneous movement type, which will disable the rigid body of this object. So we will be able to move it through objects that doesn't have a rigid body. Then kinematic, similar to instantaneous, with the difference that his rigid body can affect other objects. And last, velocity tracking, that will be affected by colliders, even if they don't have a rigid body. One problem that we found is that the rigid body that goes to sleep after being grabbed. Uh, for that we have to set the sleep option to maintain ownership while sleeping. And that's it for this video guys. In this tutorial we learn about the real-time view, real-time transform and how to deal with the ownership of the object. In the next video we are going to show you how to set up multiple sessions and how to load rooms in Normcore. If you enjoy this type of content please consider subscribing to the channel or leaving us a like. You can find the source code of all the videos in our Patreon. For questions feel free to join our Discord channel and we are happy to answer you. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time.